Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use the custom mission creation tool Valkyrie for Road to Legend and Mansions of Madness. As already said in the last video, the app can be used for Windows, Linux and Android. And independent of your system you first have to get the official apps. So if you're on a PC or Linux you have to download the Mansions of Madness or Road to Legend app for Steam or if you're on a uh, Android device you have to download the apps in the Android store. In this video I'm going to install it on my Windows machine. So first we go to the Valkyrie website, then we go to the download section and there we can see multiple downloads. In my case I'm going to download the EXO version. You could also download the ZIP version but Last time I tried this I had some problems with the Unity engine files which this is containing. When you're using the EXO version you can be pretty sure that all of the needed Unity files will be in the right place. So I'm going to my downloads folder now and install the EXO file. So it'll take a few seconds. Okay, and that's it. Now there should be a tile in your start bar. Here in this menu we can uh, switch between windowed and full screen mode. I will use full screen mode in my case. And now the Valkyrie main menu opens and you can choose between Descent and Mansions of Madness. But in your case you first have to re-import the content from one of the apps using this button. As you can see, I went to uh, C program files, Steam, Steam apps, common descent row to legends. This should be the location where your files are. And now it starts importing. This will take a few seconds. Or maybe even a few minutes. So what can you do in the Valkyrie main menu? Let's first start with the options area. Here you can change the language, how the app is shown. As you can see the list sections and the main menu as well and this will also change the uh, texts of the missions you play. Uh, the good thing is the buttons will be always in the same uh, direction and uh, you shouldn't have problems switching back to any other language. So now let's go to the select content section. Here you choose which expansions of Descent or Mansions of Madness you have and this will um, make different missions available if these missions need the tiles or monsters or other stuff from these expansions. So if we go to new game now we can directly see that I can't play this mission here because it's needing some of the expansions I haven't uh, chosen in the select content screen. And this uh, red bar will show us that we can download this mission. Here we can see uh, the languages which are available for one mission. So let's start one of the missions now. This screen shows some overview information about the mission and its story and the difficulty and duration of the mission. Click start again. Now we have to choose our heroes. If you don't like one of the heroes or want to replace it you can click on the hero icon again and choose another one. Next we are going to choose the classes. The app also um, can use the hybrid classes. I think the Avenger is one, yes. Now we can choose a subclass. The hybrid classes are only avail available if you choose one of the um, hybrid extensions in the select content screen. Now we click finished and the mission starts. Here are some story information and how to build up our mission. But I will skip this. As you can see you can zoom in or out. If you click on the tokens normally uh, some kind of text should appear and if you click on the doors some kind of text should appear too. 
and you can uh, click on the heroes to show and use some buttons here so for example for ending the turn for one hero or ending the round for the whole hero team and we can use the KO function to show the app that one hero has just been slain in this case the moral value will went down just as in Road to Legend and we can recover him also we have um, a lock screen here which shows all the text which have already been um, written down by the app so we can reread them if we forgot something we also have the skill screen here we can choose which skills our heroes currently have we can reset this just as in Road to Legend but don't forget this is not allowed by uh, the app this is just if you did something wrong somehow so let's look at the menu. We have an undo function which is not available in Road to Legend but only in Valkyrie. That's pretty cool. With this function you can undo the last action you did in the round. So for example I can undo the uh, recover action and the KO action too which I just did for this hero. And finally we have a save button. Save functionality should be clear. You have three save slots, so if you are doing multiple missions, you have to override one of the slots. And uh, you can just go back to the main menu to load your previously saved games. There are no differences between the main menus of Descent and Mansion of Madness. As you can see, the options menu looks completely the same. We have the select content section and also the continue button. One button I have skipped before is the scenario editor. I will go into details for this stuff in the next videos. The mission selection screen shows the same information too. So if I'm gonna choose the mission here now, started using the green button, get an overview screen the difficulty and duration and the author information and we start the mission using the start button. So if we start a mission we have to choose our investigators again instead of our heroes. We can replace an investigator if we don't like our chosen one. And afterwards the game shows us which starting items we should use. Afterwards the mission begins I'm gonna click through here again and inside the mission most of the stuff is the same as in Descent. If we click on a token we get a little text and we can do some actions here. The buttons here on the left are similar to Descent. We have the items the investigators have already found. We have a lock for the actions and text which have already been shown and we have this set button which sets some Managers of Madness specific actions. Furthermore we have this button which will end the investigator phase afterwards the so-called mythos phase will start. Afterwards some random or maybe not so random stuff depending on your mission will happen and then the next investigator phase will start. All of the other menus are the same as in Descent. We have the Undo button and we have uh, the Save button. That's it with the overview. I hope you got some insights how to use the app and are able to play your first mission now. Have fun and see you in the next video.